let's compare three different ways to render a an image on VMD. So let's assume we worked out our representations and we're happy what we have in the display window over here. Um, what we are going to do is in the VMD main window click file render and the quick way to just uh, kind of take a placeholder picture and just render out a low quality image is to do this file render and then snapshot select snapshot from the uh, drop down box and you could do browse if you want to set the location and you could type in the name of the file and then dot pmp like I have here snapshot test and then you would just click start rendering if you want to make it a larger uh, output size the actual image then you could do uh, dash res for resolution and what I like to do is well, let me take a step back first I would get a uniform uh, resolution like a standard resolution to display in this window because when we export a uh, an image from here it's just going to take whatever size this display window is so we don't know what size that is right now so let's just we can figure we could look at it by saying display get size and that'll tell us that it's 662 by 370 but let's pick a normal d regular size that will work with m uh, most standard rendering sizes I guess and we'll do display resize and just do 400 by 300 so this what this is what will be displayed uh, in your final exported picture but the problem is it's going to be very small so if we wanted to do a multiple of this we could do display resize 4000 3000 and that's going to be really large but if we do display get size we could see that the maximum that it the VMD will show is 1600 uh, by 877 so let's keep it at display resize 400 300 just so we know what we know what will be included in the frame but when we export it we'll do dash res 400 300 and we'll do start render and that will give us a rendered file and I have, I'm saving everything to the desktop and I have a few different files just to compare so I'm not going to resave it but you could just click start rendering give it a second or two and it'll show up there and so that's the snapshot the other way is to do render and we'll do tachyon which I think is the most common way used in journals or posters uh, the good thing about tachyon is it supports ambient occlusion so it's kind of like a, a nice shadow natural shadow display which if you go to display display settings you could turn this on here and just keep the default values they're fine and you'll see what it looks like in the final product so if you're using tachyon it's it's a good thing to do uh, for that effect and by the way if you want to use those effects when you go to re uh, representations you want to want to select a material that has AO as a prefix that means those these are good for ambient occlusion so it's basically only these three so now we'll try with tachyon um, so we selected tachyon uh, we'll browse and I'm saving mine you could type in whatever dot DAT then hit save I already have mine exported rendered here it's because it's gonna take a few minutes uh, so you would hit save there then here uh, my my default values for tachyon and uh, Pavre they weren't the right file path for some reason 
So you might want to go and look for this file. It should be in your program files and just browse until you find this exe file. Oops. I don't know if it came like that or if I messed it up, but it just make sure that you're uh, that you have in quotes the the directory that leads to your tachyon win32.exe file. Okay, and then everything else you can leave the same. And at the end here, I did the same with dash res. So, and this might be overkill in terms of the size, but it's for a poster, so we want to make sure it's it shows up clearly. So dash res four thousand. 3000 and this is a multiple of 4 by 3 so we'll know that it's going to be the same aspect ratio just a lot bigger uh, and then you would just click start rendering and Tachyon at least on my uh, $300 Dell all-in-one computer it takes a really long time to render so I'm not going to do it here uh, but the final product showed up here and we'll look at these in a second to compare them and the last one is Pavre. So this one, you have to download the actual program. You could go to pavre.org, click download, and then download Windows Installer. And after you download and install it, it's going to prompt you to install some extra files. Make sure you select yes and install those because uh, I at first hit no and I wasn't able to run anything so I think they're pretty necessary and once you do that you could do the same thing to except with Pavre you're gonna do da -da 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 .pov and you'll save that here and for render command again check yeah when I go to render and it calls up Pavre. This doesn't lead to the right location. Uh, I don't know how to change the default directory for where this is leading to, but what you can do is what we did in Tachyon is just find where this file is and put the directory within quotes. So we could do that. We're looking for um, we're looking for pvengine.exe is what it's called so it'll probably be in C program files one of these or x86 let's see so it's not in program files x86 so it's probably in our standard program files which it is pavre and it's in bin and here it is, PV Engine. So we could take this directory, click, copy it, come over to here, and paste it using Control V. The right click doesn't work. And now let's do a backslash and type in the name of this. So we'll add a backslash PV engine quote uh, actually the only last thing is it will need two backslashes before the name of the application so two backslashes then PV engine dot exe quote and there will also be another quotation in the beginning and we should be good to go we'll just make sure the we have the same dash res at the end, which we don't. So space dash res 4000 by 3000. You'll hit start rendering and you'll see the status both on Tachyon and Pavre on the command line here in the command window. Uh, Pavre is a little quicker, I think. And once you, once the Pavre render is complete you don't get an image right away what it gives you is a uh, like a pavre scene I think it's called so what you'll do there is we'll open up pavre and 
and here we have some preset sizes to export the picture or render it so the problem is we don't have any I've added one here but we don't have any standard 4000 by 3000 which is pretty huge size so we want to add that so we could go tools edit resolution INI file so these are all of our standard sizes and I've added a new standard down here and the way I did that is just copied so control C and go to the next line paste and what's in the close brackets is just what the thing is called so it doesn't actually matter what you type in here but uh, I'm going to just type a size just to keep everything consistent so 4000 by 3000 we don't want this aspect ratio um, keep this now change the actual values for width and height so 4000 3000 we could keep everything else on and since I have two of these I'll just delete one but what you would do from there is just click save and after you hit save it might not show up in the drop down box yet so you will probably need to close Pavre and reopen it now once you reopen it it should appear in this drop down box and what this box is is it's the output properties for the file you are about to render so now that we have that set up we can do file open file go to the desktop and it should be uh, the file you rendered from VMD ending in .pov should be here so you could click on that file open now this has all the information for that file before it's processed from here all you need to do is make sure this is also set to 4000 by 3000 and then just hit run and that will also take a few minutes so I'm not going to do it here but once it completes it'll make a nice sound letting you know it and it'll say uh, render complete and now we can compare the three so I'll, these are all the final products which appeared on the desktop so this is the snapshot um, from VMD this is a render using snapshot it's pretty good it's not too bad um, this is Pav, this is Pavre. This is, you can see it's a lot better going back and forth. Um, but it's a little bright. It has some kind of like, I mean, you could adjust all this in, in the program if you want, but I'm just using everything as default settings. So you can see it's kind of uh, like the color is a little bleached a little bit, but it's still really nice quality. And then finally, this is Tachyon. And you can see the ambient occlusion. It's you could see like the chalky type shadow flavor here so my favorite is the tachyon and it's also the easiest to use it just takes a long time to render it so yeah these are the three snapshot pov test or pavre and tachyon all right thanks